You can't be Prime Minister and have your wife and be a speaker of your house. That means say, you are thief things and your wife are thief things and nobody else can get no chance to thief nothing. Fuck you with that. <laughs> you Hamilton, they fire you. Take your blood clot out of Parliament or you're so enough. Maybe out there in the trend for your party. Day and night. You were saying something different recently when you spoke with my colleague Kalisha Williams. Are we not have a change of heart? What they say? Starting yes, we're going to choose that. I'm in a trench for your party. The Labour Party needs to sit down and first of all recognize that politically they lost on February 26. They lost and they have to wheel and come back. They have a year and a half to do so. If you think the man they attack your wife, at that time you should stand up and defend it. I saw you defend your wife. God Almighty, I couldn't believe you're sitting because of my God. I'm up in over one. We fix up the whole nation. We the subscribers, everyone saying it was a gender attack Mark Golden did my people. But in my opinion, it wasn't like that my people. We the subscribers, it was said officially that Mark Golden did have concern in the beginning. But he flowed with it my people. But during the honest, not doing her job properly my people. Her ruling is not acceptable. First, let me ask our Jamaican citizens this question. Is it right for a Prime Minister wife to be the host speaker? The host representative, my people? Let me know in the comment section. You can't be Prime Minister and have your wife and be a speaker at house. That means uh, you are thief things and your wife are thief things and nobody else can get no chance to thief nothing. Fuck you with that. You Hamilton, they fire you. Take your blood clot out of parliament or you're so enough. You look like a when time fly take shit, you fucker you. Eee. You remember when you could have gone in a parliament, go go sit down and chat off your mouth. No, they don't want you in there. Your time up, leave. Your time fucking up, leave. Mr. Mr. Mark Golden, make a valid point. You, the Prime Minister, is a little fuck up. You and your wife not together, and you behave like, say, your wife and your little chulup say, mm -hmm. <laughs> Your wife and your little chulups I want a young girl you're there with. Minute, wait, wait a minute. How? Wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. I should apologize to the opposition leader Mark Golding because today in the midday news we carry the story about the Integrity Commission declaring that no reports from that office had been tabled, had, had been sent to Parliament, but not tabled. The Integrity Commission saying that that claim was not true. We uh, the story we carried said that the opposition leader had said that Mrs. Holness, the House Speaker, had not tabled reports from the Integrity Commission. Of course, that wasn't so because what the opposition leader did say at the opposition leader's office on Tuesday after that parliamentary walkout were he said that reports from the Auditor General's Department weren't tabled, which was true because they were sent back. And he also said that reports from the Integrity Commission were sent to committees. He was clear in what he said. So he did not say that reports from the Integrity Commission were not tabled in Parliament that they were being suppressed. He did not say that. And we clarified that in the story we carried at five, but it was a midday report, which was problematic. And yeah, we want to just clarify that Mr. Golding did not say so, and we moved to set the record straight. The Labour Party needs to sit down and first of all recognise that politically, they lost on February 26. They lost, and they have to wheel and come back. They have a year and a half to do so. You know, just getting this. Based on the results of the local government elections of February 26, what would have been the seat count after the votes are tallied? The JLP would have lost 16 seats, 16 of the 49 they have resulting in a narrow three-seat majority for the JLP. They would have won the elections with 33 seats to the PNP's 30. They would have lost 16 of the 49 they now have. They would have lost Juliet Holness's East Rose St. Andrew. They would have lost Miss Michelle Charles's Eastern St. Thomas. They would have lost Bobby Montague's Western St. Mary. 
They would have lost Tova Hamilton in Northern Trelawney. They would have lost Marlene Malahu Fort in West Central St. James. They would have lost Homer Davis in South St. James. They would have lost Dave Brown in East Hanover and West Hanover, Tamika Davis. They would have lost West Westmoreland with Moreland Wilson, Central Westmoreland. They would have lost East Westmoreland. They would have lost North East St. Elizabeth. So too, South Manchester. Rhoda Moy Crawford would have lost, would have lost Central, Cent Central Manchester. They would have lost North West Clarendon. South East St. Catherine, where Big Rob is. Yes? And they would have won the following three seats by fewer, less than 300 votes. Favel Williams, Eastern St. Andrew. Audley Shores, North East Manchester. And East Central St. Catherine. There, that's Orlando Terrellong. They would have won those seats by less than 300 votes. The political calculus in the country has shifted. It's all to play for now. The danger we face as a country this morning, can we afford for the political temperature to overheat? No, we cannot afford that. And it almost let me shed a tear to my lungs. Let me can't believe, we couldn't believe it. See, in case you never know, Jamaica is about 75 to 80 percent black. That means that we are the majority. See? It's not all that many one people. It's all that many we black people are the majority. And me see you make a little white guy. See? Offspring. Offspring of the colonizer. Make you run out of your parliament building. See? And it's not only you alone. You and your followers, them. Who don't make the little white guy. Make you run out of the parliament building. One little white man. See? That never happened in history. See? <laughs> Bum. Well, him hurt your feelings. See? Him aggravate you. So you couldn't take it, so you run out and I grumble. Grumbling fuckery. If you think the man there attack your wife, at that time you should have stood up and defend it. I saw you defend your wife. <laughs> this is like an unto blood clad slavery. See? When white man would have come in down the house and just a rape black man wife and black man have to go out at door. See? So you make it look in the red chain. You weak. You, you, you act like a slave. See? Some of vex. I'm not going to lie. I'm a vex. Jano. Brother. I lose half of you. Jano. I never even like you for a long time. But it's worse. <laughs> you couldn't stay and defend that. You run, Bridget. Bomba clad. Boy, no, sir. If you scratch out my head to blood. Oh, Bridget, Jano, you need to apologize to the Jamaican black people for not standing up for black people. See? Can you say, friend, you don't stand up for yourself? You're not going to stand up for we. So, but you need to apologize for what we saw, what we witnessed. See? You make the little white man. See? Hurt your little feelings. And you walk out of the building grumbling. <laughs> give me a reason why you never stay. See? Give me, give me, you have to give me a good reason why you never stay. Well, look a white man attack your family business. <laughs> but notice you bring up, you, you pull off a, a dictatorship thing, you know. See? By appointing your people. See? On a certain levels, we keep the money now and all still. See? Come in, no, say, me guarantee, say. See? Man, there was more qualified than her to do that. See? But she had this thing as a family business. See? So, you employ her for you and her run the country. See? <laughs> oh, Bob McCabe is a prime minister. You're the best of that. <laughs> 
I know you pull off a dictator thing, you know, but yes, after, after you come and talk and you walk out of the building, you look like a dictator. <laughs> oh my god. Bridget, you let me down. I never like you from long time still, but I know you, it get worse to be low clad, I know. I can't believe you did that. You make a colonizer. The offspring of a colonizer make you run out of your parliament building. You and your could stooge them behind you. A grumble fuckery. I can't believe that blood clad, you know. Me couldn't be one of your stooge, you know, because I stain of that blood clad and watch where I go on, you know. Me not run from no white guy. See him? <laughs> oh my God. Ah, blood clad. I talk about the man low and no, no, no. I know you go. You, the man turning him slave, make him make him make gonna run like some runaway slave out of that building. See, one little white man. Embarrassing by every blood clad levels. <laughs>